I wanted to take a detour from the tutorials I've been doing recently and take a look at the tools that I use to build WordPress websites as an agency owner. Now, you might be someone who builds websites for clients, you could be completely new to WordPress, or you might have been sent to spy on me to gather inside secrets. I highly doubt it though. Whatever your situation, I'm simply here to help. Over the years, this list has changed, but there's also been some plugins that have withstood the test of time. So, in the hope of possibly starting something completely new and even an annual tradition, I've coined this episode, My WordPress Toolkit for 2020. from Hello Hudson, thank you so much for joining me. If this is your first time, welcome. Please consider subscribing and hit that bell so you're notified of new videos. So we're gonna take a look at my list of main plugins that I use pretty much on every website that I build. A lot of these plugins are going to be familiar to you. Some of them you may have never heard of, but with over 50,000 free plugins in the WordPress repository, not to mention thousands of premium ones out there, you're bound to have a different setup to me or anyone else. Let it be said, there's definitely no one solution to build a website. You may be here and use a different page builder to me or a different SEO plugin. That's completely okay. You're still welcome here. You might be a passionate advocate of a certain plugin, as am I, but please remember that I'm not here to discredit anyone else's setup just because it's different to mine. If you found a toolkit that works for you, that's awesome. I'm simply hoping that you'll pick up something new and go and continue to build better websites. So if you're ready, let's take a look at my toolkit for 2020. Number one, Page Builder Framework Premium Add-on. One of the most important decisions you can make when building a WordPress website is the theme that you choose. Even though most will build out pages using a page builder these days, having the essential tools and functionality in place that you need will help make your life so much easier. Page Builder Framework is the one and only theme I use to build all my sites with. It's quick, solid, extremely well built, and with so many great features, I really appreciate David and his team and their commitment to their customers. Number two. Elementor and Elementor Pro. This page builder really has become a game changer in my agency workflow. For so many years building WordPress websites, I swore against page builders. I thought it was the cheat way of building sites, that it would slow down your website. But when Elementor came along, it changed everything. If you've never used Elementor before, I encourage you to install the free version on your website and see what all the fuss is about. If you're looking for Elementor Pro, there's a link below. And so that this list doesn't get overtaken by Elementor, I'm gonna skip over all my Elementor add-on plugins. I really could speak about Elementor all day, but we'll save that for another video. I've listed my go-tos below. Number three, Advanced Custom Fields Pro. This one comes with me on pretty much every website I build, and I've been using it for years. It's such a great tool for building dynamic websites. Even before I used Elementor, I was building custom themes and using ACF to populate the page content. And even now with Elementor integrations, creating custom layouts that have all of the content fed from the general page editor is such a great feature. Especially if you're building websites for clients and you wanna give them access to update and change the content on the page, but without having access to the page builder. Number four, Gravity Forms. I've been using Gravity Forms for a number of years now and it really does give you that next level of options when it comes to collecting data from your website visitors. For simple contact forms, I'll tend to simply use Elemental Forms, but when you require things like conditional logic or multi-step features, Gravity Forms has you covered. It also has some really great features for customization and integration. Number five, Imageify. Now this is one of those plugins where there's a number of different options out there for this kind of thing, but this is the image optimization plugin that I've landed on. I run Imageify on pretty much every website I build and simply set it up and let it do its thing. It's such an essential tool to not only reduce the file size of your images, but also has some really great features such as setting a maximum width of the images you want and it'll automatically scale down any oversized images. Number six is CSS Hero. Now I touched on this in one of my previous tutorials. It's a simple and great way to visually customize the intricate details of your site that may not be easily accessible via your page builder. As well as this, it allows you to add shorthand CSS in less format, which makes adding custom CSS to your site a breeze. 
Number seven, and this one might seem a bit of a surprise, but it's a little plugin called Post Snippets. This plugin is one of the ones that I stumbled upon years ago and certainly has got me out of trouble more than once. Post Snippets essentially allows me to create custom short codes on the fly where I can use custom PHP to query pretty much anything. I've used it with ACF to create custom layouts. I've queried post meta and user meta to display personalized content. Because tools like Elementor are including more and more integrations these days, I'm not using it as much as I once did, but I still have it there and I really couldn't do without it. Number eight is Updraft Plus. This is my go-to solution for scheduled backups and website migrations. The pro version has a great number of options for off-site backups and scheduling and all that kind of thing. And the migration tool really does come in handy when moving a website from one place to another, has some automatic search and replace in there. It really is super handy to have. Number nine in my toolkit is Monster Insights Google Analytics. This is a simple and easy way not only to add Google Analytics tracking to your website, but also gives some great customizations and some quick and helpful stats at a glance to save you having to log into Google Analytics. Number 10 is Rank Math SEO. Now many of you are probably using Yoast or an alternative to manage your website SEO, and I was in that same boat. I'd spent years learning Yoast and I knew it inside out. I wasn't gonna change anytime soon. But at the same time, I do like trying something new. And hearing that they had integrated with Elementor, I was very intrigued. So I decided to give it a go on my own website, of course. As mentioned, the main draw here was this integration with Elementor. We spend so much of our time in our page builder, it always was annoying to have to go back to the default edit screen to update your SEO titles and snippets. With Rank Math, they've cleverly integrated the SEO editor right into Elementor. Honestly, I was blown away with the simplicity of Rank Math. As soon as it's installed, it offers a setup wizard, which actually includes an easy to use migration tool for Yoast. It was just incredible. I've been now rolling this out on all of my client websites and honestly can say that I'm loving it. Number 11 is Favicon by Real Favicon Generator. Now I understand that you can generally find features for Favicons in themes and all that kind of thing, but I came across this one and it was an all-in-one tool for not only generating your website's fav icon, but it also looks after your mobile device icons and theme colors, and even these days your touch by our icon on your MacBook Pro. It certainly simply adds a nice touch. Number 12 is WP Rocket. Again, this is one of those plugins where you'll find countless different options for managing your website's optimizations but I was recommended this one and have loved using it. From caching to minifying and combining scripts and style sheets, I found it so easy to learn and there's so much support out there if you need it. Number 13, word fence security. Even though I know a lot of website hosts these days have a number of security protocols in place, having word fence installed simply gives me another layer of security, giving me a greater understanding of what's actually happening with my website security, providing essential alerts if something out of the normal is happening. The last thing you wanna do is put your head in the sand when it comes to security, so I can highly recommend word fence for your website security. Number 14 is Manage WP Worker. If you manage a number of websites, Manage WP is the perfect solution for managing all your websites from the one dashboard. From plugins, backups, security and uptime monitoring, SEO keyword reports, and a huge one for me is scheduling client reports. There really is a heap of features available and their price is very reasonable based on the number of websites you have and the number of features you turn on per website. Finally, last but certainly not least, number 15 is the IU Bender cookie and consent solution. This is simply a great way to generate privacy policies and cookie opt-ins for your website. If you currently don't have these policies drafted by a law firm, this service is the complete package to ensure that your website is compliant. And that is my WordPress toolkit for 2020. I hope you found this useful and have learned something new. In no way do I want to impose my choice of plugins on you. There are so many options out there. I would love it if you give this video a like and why not add a comment or a question below. Share a plugin that you simply can't live without. I'd love to get a conversation happening. So that's it for me. Thank you so much for joining. I really hope to see you in the next video. Until next time, cheers. <laughs>